Hey, here we are again. This is the uh, RC Old Guy, and this is my uh, Blade MQX. Uh, did a little review on it before. It's got some fun stuff going on now. Um, I've uh, got this pie plate the other day, <laughs> which is uh, simply just had a piece of pie, um, cookies in it actually, and cut it back and uh, let's get the scallops on the back. And it uh, kind of looks like a stealth fighter. So I painted it up black. A little window to watch the LED in here. And uh, silver windows. I uh, did order some new batteries and stuff and some parts for it. Uh, one thing to be aware of when you do order parts, especially the blades, you're under the assumption that there's a left and a right in each bag. But apparently, no. It's two of the same blades. So I ordered, like way too many blades <laughs> um, thinking of course you know that they were uh, sets of left and rights and they're not so as a result the white blades are the lefts and the blacks are the right so um, as a result of that it's hard to orientate by the blade color so what I've done and I'll see if I can do this with one hand is whoop, Oh, I put these LEDs that I got over at Radio Shack, um, wired them in. Those are the giant white bright LEDs, and pretty bright actually. And those really help when you're flying. So that's on the back of the craft. So when I see that, I know it's uh, going out and coming in. I can see those lights. I know both ways if it's coming in backwards and going out. So it actually helps with the orientation. Uh, lights are always a good thing to have on it. Even on a bright day, they still shine. You can still see them. And if they catch, you know, if they go from straight to this direction, you pick up the glare. So you can actually see. Oops, I'm getting a little to the right or the left. So anyway, this is my little pie plate body. Pops on there. Now this is the fun part. I kind of like this idea. Um, I was uh, popping around on the internet looking for stuff on it. And I, one of the guys on there had a really genius idea. This is the frame here. That's the stock body. Everybody's got that one. This is my uh, pie plate stealth body that goes on. It actually looks pretty cool. But there was a guy on there who came up with the idea of the Slurpee cup lids. Now these things, you know, you buy yourself a Slurpee, you get two lids because they usually stick together. So there you go. You've got two bodies just painted on the inside. This one's orange. This is a little cone. I'm thinking of maybe doing another red one, make it look like a, like a ladybug beetle or something, paint it up a little funny. Um, this one's a red one. The orange is a good color. It's bright. You can see it. But they uh, basically just melt four holes in it at the crosses, cut them, and it snaps in place. I get this with the... Uh, couple of crazy guys driving, a little T-Max logo on the back. This one here kind of had the skull on it, but it melted a little with the heat gun, so I'm not going to use it, just throw it away. doesn't cost you anything to make. A couple minutes to paint it. Very simple. There's another one. This one's uh, my silver one. And it's got a clear strip going down the middle. I don't know what I'm going to use for that for that yet. But, um, you know, be creative. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, pretty easy stuff to do. And, uh, you know, gives you a little more unique machine than uh, having the same one that everybody else has out of the box. Thanks for watching.